Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today we are going to talk about uh, the bioinformatics, what's bioinformatics, and you know more about bioinformatics. So let's let's just begin. Okay, so what's bioinformatics? We would be covering this uh, four topics here. I would just uh, put it before the before we know actually begin the begin the PPT. So what's bioinformatics? That's one we are going to cover. We are also going to cover why it's necessary. We are going to cover example of a technique in bioinformatics, which is nothing but molecular docking. And at the end, we would also be covering the basic terminologies such as uh, what's protein, ligand, binding energy, and docking, etc. Okay, so let's look at the first question. So, what's the first question? The first question is what is bioinformatics? So, uh, as you can see, the definition bioinformatics is nothing but is the science of collecting and analyzing biological data. Uh, so if you, even if you look at the word bioinformatics, you can pretty much understand that it's nothing but the, uh, but the science which allows us to get the information of complex, uh, you know, um, complex molecules in bio. So let's look, look at an example now. Okay, so look at this uh, human body as we know it. And we also know that human body is made up of um, millions of cells. So these are the small tiny cells which makes up the body. And in those tiny cells, you would have the center of the cell as a nucleus. So this nucleus contains, uh, this nucleus, this is a nucleus and this small bluish molecule over there are chromosomes. So uh, human body has the chromosomes. We have 23 pair of chromosomes and this chromosomes consist DNA. So this is the smallest unit uh, we have, which, which, you know, which contains so much of information that uh, that is useful for for you know for for the study of human body. So this uh, DNA in a, in a single strand of DNA we can find over 215 million gigabyte per gram. So that's like huge data. And to study that huge data, we need a science something like bioinformatics. So that's why the uh, that's why the bioinformatics is born. Okay. So moving on to the next slide. Why it's necessary. So it's necessary because uh, we need to study the large biological data and you know further analyze them and use in, use them into into the further development in, in science etc. So let's look at some of the application of bioinformatics. Okay, so this is the one of the applications that we can have the databases uh, in bioinformatics, which which we can you know which we can study the databases of DNA as I have shown you in the previous uh, slide. Uh, we can also use bioinformatics for drug designing and this uh, drug designing is what example uh, we would be taking further and we can also use bioinformatics for genome analysis we can use it for evolutionary studies we can use it for molecular interaction studies we can also use it for 3d modeling for microarray for forensics genetics so these are pretty much the you know uh, more of the familiar examples which we can connect to using bioinformatics Okay, so an example of bioinformatics. So, molecular docking is one of the software or a, or a tool which we use uh, in bioinformatics to study the interaction between a small molecule and a protein. So, I am just showing you one of the example in bio, example in uh, bioinformatics, which is molecular docking. So, we would just before uh, you know before going into molecular docking, let me just. Uh, uh, t let me just tell you guys about about the basic terminologies which we use in molecular docking, which is nothing but receptors, ligand, uh, receptor ligand pair, docking, and binding energy. So let's look, look at this terminology through an example. So this is the receptor. As you can see that uh, this this itself is a uh, is a protein, and our receptor is part of a protein. So a protein can have multiple receptors. This receptor is what attracts the ligand uh, to come and bind to it. So ligand is nothing but, but you know, uh, some other small molecule which binds to the receptor. So this is the ligand, our ligand, and this is what ligand comes and binds to the receptor. So for example, let's say, let's say for for example, if we are studying a, a interaction of a cancer protein with uh, with you know some kind of drug. So our cancer, the target, the protein which present in the cancer, which would have a receptor. So consider this receptor as a, 
as a part of a protein which is present in a particular cancer. Any cancer, it could be let's say lung cancer, brain cancer, breast cancer. So this receptor is part of that cancer and this ligand is some drug which we are you know trying to fit into this uh, receptor so that so that this drug uh, uh, this drug deforms the function of this target protein and so the target protein does not harm us so that's what the uh, ligand is important to bind to the receptor and you know uh, it's kind of a mechanism to prevent the cancer cancer spread and or or further inhibit the cancer so this is the ligand binds to the receptor and now once the ligand binds to the receptor you would see a uh, energy release so this release of energy when ligand binds to the receptor known as binding energy which uh, which should be between minus 8 kilocalorie to minus 11 kilocalorie per mole uh, this is the range which is considered to be you know as as kind of a good range to have for a ligand and receptor to uh, bind okay so what's the molecular docking and how do we uh, so as, as we have already discussed what's molecular docking we would now see how do we perform docking so we use the software called as uh, autodoc it's nothing but it's the tool uh, is the software which allow us to visualize the binding of our uh, target protein with the with the ligand so it's basically a virtual simulation where we can actually see how how would our ligand would bind to the target protein without without in reality doing the experiment in the let's say for the laboratory so this is an example so this uh, pink is our uh, ligand and this uh, small uh, spheres are part of the protein so these are nothing but the uh, amino acids you know which are or, or other molecules which could be present in the protein so this protein are binding to this ligand which is small molecule and releasing this much of energy minus 5.0 kilocalorie per mole so that's the that's the importance of docking uh, docking allows us to visualize how well our ligand is binding to the protein okay so yeah thank you guys this was it and i hope you like the video